Yeah, g'day. We're Rob and Nick. Welcome to Running Amok Off Grid. Where we share with you our story of freedom, love and happiness from our land of plenty to inspire you to live a life you love. To Yes! What a result! This gorgeous lady... You know what it's like, Saturday morning, getting the whipper snipper out, lawn trimmer, weed whacker, and it won't start. But when it does start, it's just got no power. What do you do? You buy a new carburetor. So today we're gonna fix it. I got this off eBay. Um, I'll put a link down below. Get it's cheap, it's like 15 Aussie dollars. What's that? Seven US. Let me give it a go. It's called an air fuel set. We've got a fuel hose, Ooh, spark plug, a couple of these bulby things, another gasket, fuel filter, carburetor with a bowl. Ah, and we've got some oil in it. So, so far, I'm impressed. These were my granddad's. All these sockets. That one. Let's go give it a try. You've got to take these two out. Woo! There was one hell of a suction on there. Are they the same? Are they, are they, are they the same? Yes, they are. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Gosh, it's easy. Just remembered I had this, didn't I? Happy days. Oh, yeah, that's delightful. Let's go give it a spin. You might think we're lucky to live a life we love, but luck has nothing to do with it. We had a definite purpose to live on a large block of land with our animals and a lifestyle where we rule ourselves. So twice a day we read a declaration which we learnt in the book Think and Grow Rich and meditated on living on this land with love, freedom and happiness. And here we are. Hey mate, what are you doing? Hello. But our vision's still forming. We have the land and now our focus is on a successful YouTube channel to build a beautiful home and to revitalize the land to its former lush glory. So come along with us as we manifest the next chapter of our lives. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell to be reminded of when the next amazing video is coming out. And give us a like, will you? Who'd have thought it, eh? 
I'm going to start with putting the old plug back in. We'll work backwards from there. I'll go a quarter of a turn on. Quarter of. Very interesting. Okay, so that tells me Ah, oh, bastard. I'm really clutching at straws here. I'm gonna change the fuel, see if that makes any difference. Wish me luck. I am baffled. Seriously. Let me know what's going on. After a cup of tea. See you later. <sighs> Have I found the answer? Take a look. Hey guys, Machines of Metal here. Just wanted to show you this uh, steel FS55R trimmer I've got to work on here. This one's a filthy mess. You can see it's just coated, coated in, in oil. And um, the customer was complaining that this thing doesn't rev, it just bogs when he tries to use it. And uh, this is a very strong indication, all of this oil, that the exhaust screen is plugged. Downside the muffler there is a uh, serviceable exhaust screen and the purpose of it I believe is to prevent sparks from flying out of the exhaust and setting forest fires but they do plug up with carbon and oil and makes the machine bog and usually when you see this amount of mess is exactly what the problem is let's give that a go shall we moment of truth is it Clogged. You see that? Look how clogged that is. So I'm going to do the same as that guy did. I'm going to put it in the vise, get the torch on it, get the airline going. It's going to be noisy, so I'll put some music on. Get rock and rolling, baby.
amazing. Clear as a bell. Let's give that a go. I'm pretty excited, aren't you? Life off grid brings us closer to nature in all its glory. And sometimes that means facing nature's challenges head on. We've created a life filled with freedom and happiness, but that doesn't mean it's always smooth sailing. Just when you think you're in perfect harmony with your surroundings, nature has a way of reminding you who's really in charge. Today, it's the bull ants that decided to pay us a visit, but no worries, even in paradise, we've got this covered. Let me show you how we keep our slice of heaven running smoothly, even when nature throws a curveball. This is a special mixture of sugar water and borax mixed with milk arrowroot biscuits. They give the ants something to eat on the spot and something to take back to the nest. So it's quite effective in eradicating bull ants when you have an overpopulation, such as we do at the moment. And all you do is add three parts sugar, one part borax, and pour it over your milk arrowroot biscuits so they're nice and soggy. The ants can break them up easily, take them back to their nest. And all you need to do is heat up a skewer, poke some holes in some spare bottles that you have laying around. I've got this old washing powder bottle and this sauce bottle and uh, pop it in the garden. The ants will climb in the holes, drink the sugar mix and take the biscuits back to the nest, which will help to eradicate the overpopulation. It's never the most pleasant task to have to do away with animals, even as small as an ant, but to maintain balance on the farm and in the garden, it's just something that has to be done. And another little tip is to tape around the base of the plant and place some Vaseline on there so the ants can't climb back up. With those pesky bull ants handled, it's time to shift gears from dealing with nature's surprises to enjoying one of its sweetest gifts, fresh apples. Living off grid means taking the good with the challenging and after tackling the ants, we've definitely earned a treat. There's nothing like the satisfaction of making a delicious apple strudel from scratch using ingredients you've sourced right from home. Well, we haven't actually sourced the apples from home, but we have got some mulberries on the way and this will be great practice for mulberry strudel. So let's roll up our sleeves, forget about the ants and dive into something sweet and comforting, a perfect reward for our hard work. So it's pretty simple. All I do is use some puff pastry from the freezer section of your local supermarket. Slice the edges so that I can fold them over the top of the apple. Lay the apples through the middle of the pastry and then fold your sliced edges across. Here the apples are just half sliced and half grated with a little bit of sugar and a sprinkle of mixed spices. Once you have the whole strudel covered over, give it a brush with some egg yolk and milk and pop it in the oven until it's golden brown and enjoy. I'll mess around with the tune a bit more. That's bloody good.